All right, so today is just a short update video on the Long Life Blinking Jewel Thief circuit. This guy has been flashing away for about six years and one month at this point. A little bit late on the update, but that's okay. A little bit of sad news, and we'll go ahead and just jump right into that first. The battery has unfortunately started leaking, which is one of the things that I was concerned about from the very start with this project. Now, I had mentioned in the past that I may have caused damage to this battery from soldering the wires on either end of it. And there's still a chance that is indeed the case, so the leaking battery may have been entirely my fault. It could also be that this battery is six years old and we've been drawing a very small continuous load from the battery over the past six years. And that may have just killed it naturally. But either way, the battery is leaking. So I'm not sure how much longer this is going to last. As you can see, it is still happily flashing away despite the leaking battery. So we'll go ahead and bring in a multimeter and we'll see what our voltage is at. Might be a little bit difficult to make a good connection on this guy, just given the all the corrosion on the back of the battery. Okay, there we go. Uh, 1.327 volts, that's what we're gonna go with. So in that case, 1.327 volts is actually not much of a drop from last year. I think last year we were at 1.354. So we've only lost uh, less than 30 millivolts worth of battery voltage. So the battery is still holding in strong despite the fact that it's leaking. I'll go ahead and throw the chart up on the screen that shows the, uh, well, every, every measurement from every year, and I'll even put a little graph in there so we can kind of see what it's done over time. But anyway, that's kind of sad news on this project. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description with the playlist that has all the other videos that have to do with this guy, including ones that explain the schematic and all the other updates throughout the, the other five years that this thing has ran. But I'll go ahead and put this thing into a plastic bag, that way that white powdery corrosion doesn't get all over the place. And I'll let it keep running until it completely dies. For all I know, this may not affect the results of this test by all that much, because as I said, my, my voltage still seems to be at a pretty reasonable level. And I'm not entirely sure how long this has been leaking. It must have been for a while, though, because it's definitely got quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of stuff growing on it. So, anyhow, that's about it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.